Hello. Stand up right here. No, it's down. Okay, sit on me. Let's see. So, we're going live today. Me and Masani, and we are here to do your energy reading for today's full moon in Scorpio. This young lady here, Masani, she is a Scorpio baby. And um, we want to see where Scorpio is going to affect you guys um, and what energies is going to come out for today. So, what to be doing. Look, what are you doing? Are you going to help me with the cars? There's house right there. Well, if you sit right here, then they can't see you. Look, there's people here. See? Everyone say hey. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, me and Masani, we are going to pull some cards from my colorful, colorful decks today. Because, look. Look, there you go. So, look. We are trying to make sure that we add some color in our lives today. First of all, Scorpio energy is very intense and transformative so we are making sure that um, we are doing some self-reflection today and in doing that you also need to realize that this energy is very intense as spring a lot of people are going to be uh dealing with their karma so uh situations are going to come about to where they're going to have to be put in positions to where karma good either good or bad is going to be coming um to serve justice okay we also have judgment uh don't don't shuffle anything yet we're not doing that yet okay uh, the judgment card has came up for me during a lot of my personal readings that also is telling us that it is divine timing to <laughs> awaken so part of this karmic lessons and karmic uh, completions that are coming up from today's full moon are going to help complete different cycles in your life to aid you to moving forward into a new season for yourself so it is positive even though the energy is intense so there could be a lot of negativity or different things that arise from um this shift but understand that it's meant for your highest good so once you come out this cycle this is a new beginning to a new cycle but these cycles that you're moving into now are to clear your karmic uh, your karmic debt so that will bring you to a point of healing so then you will be moving forward into a clear slate basically kind of like by midsummer so you know by the next full moon so this from this period of transformation is going to last at least until the next full moon. So hold on, Masani. So we're getting ready to shuffle the cards because Masani is very anxious to help me pick um, the cards today. So yes, I involve my children in spirituality and I teach them about their spirituality. These are tools for divination to interpret messages and I include my children. So Masani, Masani is going to help me pick a chakra oracle card. So that's going to tell us what areas that we need to focus on. Now, we'll already say Scorpio is over your sacral chakra. So what you create, what you reproduce, uh, how you reproduce, what you birth into this world is going to be part of it. And you can go ahead, just hold them because, you know, we're on the stairs. I don't want them to fall down. Keep it up here for me. Okay. Um, so what you birth, you know, so what are you creating right now? Um, and again, that can tie in with your karma. Um, it also rules your emotions, deep emotions. So traumas, childhood wounds, um, a lot of different things are going to also be addressed. So just know, okay, <laughs> just know that things that happen and progress for right now, that's what it's meant for, okay? So let's go on and get started. So let's go on and get a few cards. And like I said, I'm introducing a lot of color because, look, if it's going to be intense, it's going to be cute. <laughs> cute and intense. So, like, I'm trying to get something. Okay, so let's kind of, what are some energies for today? I already got two. One more. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you, my son. Now, is that the card that you pick for us? All right. Appreciate it. Okay, well, at the bottom of this chakra oracle is perseverance. So hold on. That is the sacral chakra. Hello. And Masani picked the card that says joy. Right? Yellow, that is your solar plexus. So I'm going to take both of those energies because I think that that aligns. So, like I said, with dealing with the sacral chakra and intense emotion, it's important to raise your vibration to operate out of a new place, okay? You need to operate out of joy and positivity. That brings love into your life. That, um, what do you see on this card? You. That's me? Okay, well, I'll take that. Well, this is me, y'all. Uh, but <laughs> it is a woman and she has... <laughs> A uh, flower on her dress. I mean, and you see right here, it is where her will is. This is how she moves forward. This is where your confidence is. So you have to become more confident today with this full moon energy. And also, you see that the there is like the the stalk coming from the ground. So it is showing growth also to come to this place of joy. Miss Honey, okay. Well, if you're done picking the cards, you gotta scoot over so they can see. Um, so you see, coming from a place of growth is going to allow you to feel and operate in the higher vibration also there is things coming from her hands so that she's showing that she has the ability to manifest things and uh she is attracting so her hands are put um towards the sky so that's going up so representing bringing energy down from above so kind of i'm seeing this as like law of attraction you know the more jo joyful you are and the more positive you're ridding blockages and trauma you know so that is not going to hold back any of your action and keep you confident in a high vibration so then the things that you attract will be more aligned with you okay then also we have the solar plexus well the sacral chakra here and this is perseverance and you see she is being guided by a divine spirit and it's kind of like holding her through it like it looks like she is in like despair or or you know her eyes are closed she doesn't really look like truly happy you know which you know this is probably putting more the emphasis on making this you know occur but she has some help you know something that is assisting her so some of the things that are happening some of the shifts or some experiences and people or places or things that you're going to come into contact today is going to allow um you to pull through in some way and i'll look at the book and see what it says so let's see so with perseverance it says um this card re refers to movement and true feelings so focus on what which supports you you may have hide have a heightened emotional state and this card can inspire or discourage you're being offered a way of getting something back on track so that aligns uh let me look at joy okay masani can you stop sliding across this dirty uh stairway Enjoy, it says, the vibrational energy is walking on air. A pure essence of joy comes through detachment. Daisy yellow brings joy, but does not experience it. Its purpose is to radiate what is inside. The powerful energy moves your projects forward. It is too detached to be creative, but will draw in assistance necessary to further your goals. So, yeah. So, just be in the moment. Okay, now let me see how this relates to the cards that I pulled. So I do see I pulled um, air and earth energy today. So I don't have any water energy, which is interesting that, you know, these two are dealing with more of the emotional state. So the four of earth, the four of pentacles in traditional tarot is someone holding on, right? holding on to too much um like not it's kind of like operating out of fear not wanting to let go of something out of fear that they will not um maintain it or be able to keep it like if they let it go then it's gone forever you know but just like this card said about this detachment you see this she's very free in this card that uh and it all actually makes you more magnetic <laughs> to let go of things so, you know, because you're not holding up space in that area, especially if it's something that you're that doesn't fully resonate with what you truly want. Um, this card is here to say, you know, you don't necessarily have to hold on to everything. So reevaluate the things that you 
have um, very strong attachments to and see do they really truly align to you do they truly resonate with your spirit right now and if they don't it's cool you know let it go and allow the space for it to either build momentum to come back in the right way that resonates with you or to make room for the things that do need to come into your life for right now so i do see that the next card that i have is the five of earth don't touch no more cards now here you can look at the book um so the five of earth five represents change so the five of pentacles in traditional tarot is um somebody feeling left out in the cold and usually it's more than one person but you see here this card doesn't look the same so i'm glad i chose this one instead of that because i would not want to be left out in the code all right so um you know the this person seems like they're gaining abundance in a whole bunch of different areas you know and it's all look at this is around where their solar plexus is it kind of looks very similar to this card you see she has this um flower here with the yellow and this person has a star and the stars represent hope you know so being hopeful letting go right and that's operating in, in a higher vibration right joy of faith that the things that you true that truly align with you are going to be attracted to you now you see by creating that space she said she's free here creating that space you see everything is coming like you see all these seeds that have grown and they're coming from all different areas so you're very magnetic once you allow you know yourself to free and just understand that the universe got you you like god got you your spirit guys your ancestors the whatever you believe in as a form of divinity for yourself is you are highly supported and this is with your emotions so it's getting your emotions in line that's what scorpio scorpio is the intense the deep within it is the ocean you get what i'm saying it's the deep water you know of, of your subconscious so you know those are where we hold our traumas, we hold our fears there, it is about releasing some of those things that are creating blockages for yourself so then you can become more magnetic. And whatever you truly align with, hey, it's, it's on its way, but you have to already be in a state of being joyful and free, you know, before you can truly attract them. But it looks like, you know, this is all flowers, they, they are already growing these are things that have already grown from the ground grown from seed it's not nothing that you have to necessarily put the work in you don't have to till the soil you don't have to plant the seeds water them all that it's really already done you get what i'm saying it's more about just freeing yourself allowing the rain to come allowing yourself to um give the time for it to grow and just like this four pinnacles you know that is holding on tightly to something and it's more about releasing it and allowing time you know if you just think about well we could we could talk about the bible you know when they're talking about when you are you can choke your seed you know what i'm saying you could choke your seed okay. so you want to release it in a sense to give it enough room to grow and then the last card that i pulled which i'm glad because look i told you about this color told you i'm colorful today i'm gonna put this color in because look it's gonna help be joyful you get what i'm saying so like um this is all your shockers right here this look at all these colors and this is number seven seven is the color of mysticism now this is a seven of air now <laughs> again in traditional tarot that's the seven of swords and that's somebody being manipulative and deceptive and all that well we don't have that deck today we have this deck okay so with that with this one it is somebody flying across the sky and it is about confidence there's the sun um here in the background so again that's uh that aligns with your solar plexus chakra and this is about coming into alignment and balance within yourself so i think this is a really positive message for today for today's uh, full moon you know saying trust because you are being guided this person mm -hmm. is being uh consoled and uh you know like they're talking to them and guiding them and helping them through whatever difficult feelings that they have uh so whatever does come up today if you have intense situations people uh feelings circumstances understand that you are being guided to deal with them and to face them right now um and then what you're going to do next is release 
okay so you can operate in a higher vibration especially if it's something that is not resonating with your spirit is not full or you know if you're getting half stuff or whatever release so you can attract a higher vibration there is the seeds are growing and is waiting for you to get higher don't hold on too tightly okay well you can go that way then uh don't hold on too tightly to any pinnacles so pinnacles represent or the earth you know it represents anything on the earth anything that you could touch anything that is material you know that could be person it could be um actual job careers anything home you know whatever you're being guided to not hold on tightly to that's what it is and it's something that you can reach out and touch okay then it says once you do that you're going to be moving to change right there will be a shift there will be a shift instead of you being closed trying to hold on to everything you're like okay i'm gonna hold this book oh man look look at my look at my body language can I receive anything in this position? No. So I have to put it down so then I can have free movement and reign with my spirit, my body, you know, all of that. And then once I do that, hey, look what comes. This person can reach out. They have their arms extended, their head, they're receiving a great, first of all, spiritual gift here because it's coming straight to their headspace planted being grounded right gaining grounding so this is not only and then receiving then receiving and all of it takes your will right here this is your willpower where your gut is and confidence okay so moving into confidence and how to do that how can you do that okay you need to be balanced within you need to find some balance so deal, like I said, deal with the, the negative things, the deep, dark thoughts and uh, situations of people. If there is intense situations that come about, then face them full on. Be open while that's happening and allow yourself to feel, but don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to your feelings because what they're doing is creating blockages from you manifesting the things that you want. And full moons are culminations of things. So today is a full moon so then it is a culmination of energies from last year full moon in scorpio which was uh last april all the way up until now so what can you let go of how can you operate in a higher vibration and then also using utilizing this is what you could do as far as like a ritualistic thing to help you um your mind kind of trick your mind into uh shifting into shifting into like okay well now you know i'm going to switch my mindset i'm going to be letting go of different things so you can kind of trick your mind by the things that you do um so you can do uh, work with water today so spiritual baths um or just be go by the ocean go by a creek go by the river and just sit and just kind of evaluate different things because water is definitely very healing it is able to flow and to reach different places that a solid form can't reach it, it has no shape or bound so it is able to flow um it create it flows and creates shape into whatever container is put in so you can so it allows to go deeper than what you can do with other uh, elements so utilize water today so if you take a shower while you're in the shower you know set your intention hey this water is washing off anything that that i'm tied to that don't need to be tied to me you know like or if you take a bath you could put different herbs and things in the bath but you're just sitting there with intention you can light a candle white candle sit there make it a whole day about you self-care you know and decide and, and reevaluate yourself and see what you need to work on so um that's all i was doing today i just wanted to come on here and talk about today's full moon and pull a couple cards for this weekend's energy because this is going to last throughout the weekend and hello everybody because i i can't see that far <laughs> my eyes are bad so <laughs> i cannot see all the comments i'm gonna have to be all up in this like this look let me just scan hello everybody and i'm good and so um my daughter is supposed to be helping me with this reading but she just disappeared after she pulled her card so 
I gotta go get her. So, um, thank you guys for joining in. I will do some more readings very soon. If you do want a personal reading to see where Scorpio is in like your natal chart and how it affects you, like for example, mine is in my second house, my career, and all of that. So then I have to address. So like you have to find out where it is in your chart so then you understand what is the how you can maximize this energy right now okay well if it's here all right then i can put my focus in this area and create some shifts here that's going to manifest and help me greater you know for this next year so if you are interesting uh well interested in getting a natal chart reading you can uh, just send me a message and i will get with you on that on how to get your details on that and then um if you want to if you already know your natal chart and you just want to know how it's going to affect your full moon then it will affect you today and this weekend then just send me a message so all right peace love and blessings to you all and thank you guys for coming and joining me on like my first official live so peace